Hello and welcome to the next requested system test. This time, we're running off the batteries, which can only mean one thing. That's that we've got mechanical horns in the system. So in the last video I told you guys, well hey, field devices will be the same for this demonstration. Well, Cause this one's a little different, but uh, unfortunately that wasn't the case. Uh, I wanted to use the advances cause I kinda wanted to keep them up. But uh, I left the other two up just for this demonstration. So this is still here. But you'll very quickly see why those don't stay up in the system. So I'm doing a demonstration here of two stage. And that's where this fancy little key switch comes in. This key switch is on uh, zone two on the panel. Now I should say panel zoning on here, um, it's an adjustable panel, so why am I talking about zones? Well, this has zone mapping, which is basically uh, all devices in one zone kind of interact with each other. This CO detector, for example, is on zone one, which is why, and this is on zone one, so this activates. It's not on general, so it doesn't cause a full fire alarm. General alarm is zone zero, and uh, so this is on zone two. The NACs are also set on zone two. The reason is, uh, it will allow me to quickly go into two stage after uh, kind of verifying an alarm. So, if we smack a pole station That's its first stage. It'll do that for three minutes, but I can override it by hitting this. And we'll jump straight into second stage. Let's see if you hear something over here. The problem. I wanted these to be doing temporal. Strobes won't even flash. So that's an issue. Oh boy. So we'll silence that. It's quite loud and quite irritating. But it is our second stage. It's unfortunate that Firelight, for whatever reason, did not design their system to, well, first of all, I have filter DC. I can complain about that for days. Uh, but I hear the new ES series panels, those fixed, and now all have filtered DC, which is very nice. But that's, that's a topic for another day. Um, this uh, panel, if I hit one pole station here, and then I go hit another pole station that's also on zone zero, for whatever reason, that doesn't cause it to go into second stage. And I feel like that's an undersight on Firelight's part. And maybe it's just a code thing. But if you ask me, if you're going to be doing a second or two-stage system, which is really only popular in Canada at this point, um, it seems like you should be able to jump straight into it if two devices go into an alarm. You know, maybe a smoke detector activates and then a pulse station activates. That should go straight into an alarm, but it doesn't. And whatever, I digress. So, I'll put this away. Guys, that's actually gonna wrap up this system for today. I uh, have recorded the past three system tests all today, and I'm pretty sure, you know this is the time and date's wrong, that's because I was trying to test this, and uh, I'm pretty sure I almost blew up my panel. But I didn't, so that's pretty cool. Um, mistakes happen, all about shorting things out happens. Luckily, there's features in a power limited panel that prevent that from uh, destroying itself. And as you'll see, the panel is still functioning. I can actually go ahead and grab my mess of cords here and plug it back in. And we'll have the power kick right back in. You can see all systems normal. Um, so guys, again, that's gonna wrap up the video. Check out the links in the description below. Go ahead and vote for devices you want to see in the next system, and I will see you all in the next video.